In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, I'd like to show you how to take a particle that's a component of a pre-designed title, extract it, modify it if you want, and then be able to save it and use it either in the current project or in any other project you want. Sometimes we find that the pre-designed titles have really cool particles, and the good news is we can use them by themselves in other titling in PowerDirector. Let me show you how to do that. I have here on the screen a clip of a race with some accompanying music. What I'd like to do is add a title and take the particle out of the title and modify it slightly. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to go to our title room, which we can get to by pressing the F7 key or clicking on the icon on the left. I'm going to go to a subset of the titles I have and go down to the section simply called Travel Pack, and I'm going to take the Road Signs 1, drag it down to track number 2, and then I'll lengthen it for the duration of my short clip here. When I play this, I see that I have a title, and it has the image, the icon of a road. It looks like you're traveling down the road. That's my particle, and it has two pieces of title text in it. Let's assume we want to change that. So what I'm going to do is click on my pre-designed title and double click. That will get me into my title designer. And here we get to see how CyberLink engineers built this particular title. I have my particle on track number one. I have add your text here on track two and a title here on track number three. But what I want to do is simply take this particle and do some things with it. So I'm going to click with the mouse on my particle track, then right click and I have two options. One is remove, the other is edit in particle designer. So I'll click on that one and it will take me out of my title designer into my particle designer. And here I see I have options I can use with my particle. If I click on the top option I see I have the emit method and they designed this with a point and then I have a modify parameters. For fun, let's just make this smaller. I'm going to go to the size attributes on the parameters and drag the slider slightly to the left to the low 80s. So I've made this slightly smaller. Now I don't want the gap around it. I'm going to move it to the lower left side of the screen. So I hold the mouse down and drag and let go. And now I have the particle and it's playing only on part of the screen, but I have all of the particle, which is exactly what I want. And now I, I'm going to click on Save As. Now I can save it into my particle bin, if you will, with a customized name. I'm going to just simply call this Road Number 6. Now click on OK. So now I have my particle. I'm going to click on Cancel. I haven't changed the original, and then I'm going to click on Cancel and get out of the title designer completely. What I want to do is delete this title. Let's create one from scratch using the new particle. So uh, I will go into my options. I'll go to All Content. I'll take my most generic title, drag that down into track number two. So now I have the, the very generic My Title on the screen. I'll double click to get into the title designer and once we're in the title designer I'm going to make some changes to this one. First of all I'll click on the particle option and we'll take the particle we just designed. I, instead of all content I go to the custom subset and here I have my road 6. I'll click on that and it will insert it exactly where it was when I saved the modified version in my system. Let's add another couple of things here. I'm going to add a graphic. I created a graphic just for this particular tutorial. And it's this one here, Summer Sale. And we'll take that and move it and place it in the lower right. I'm going to enlarge it just a bit. And now I'm going to take the My Title. And let's say we want to say uh, Biker City. 
That will be the name of our company. We'll move this to the upper right. We can change the font face, the font size. Make it 36. We'll add a little bit of a border around it. Instead of blue, we'll do a black and make it two. And now we have our title. Now one thing I have to remember is whenever I add a graphic, which I did on my summer sale, it defaults to a fade in. I do not want to fade in on the graphic. But I'll go back to my Biker City and we can add another effect. To that one we'll have a starting effect. Let's do a uh, slide right. There we go. Click on OK. Now I have my modified title with my particle that I took out of the particle that was part of a different title in the presets in Cyberlink PowerDirector. So when I play this, I get the title I want, I get the particle I want, and I get the image I want uh, to do my promotion. That's a nice way of taking an existing component out of a title in Cyberlink PowerDirector and using that particle in other different situations.